Hi everyone, welcome back to Look at Love, Volume Three, Episode Four. So we're dealing with a two-faced Echio. So during the day, she's acting normally like a regular priestess and tending to Ichitaro's care, but then at night, for some reason, she sneaks in on. Ichitaro while he's sleeping and for some reason she's trying to get him to admire the wonders of her and it's like well when you mentioned about how you like it flat and small I was very happy about it and it obviously does not sound like the typical Yachio and Ichitaro was able to sense that something isn't right because that Yachio addressed him as Ishitaro versus the usual Ishitaro kun. So I wonder what's going to happen next, and I wonder how Yachio is going to address this. So she does know that something isn't right because I find myself in places that I don't know how I got there. So. At that moment, the foggy feeling inside my head disappears. I force myself to sit up in my bed in an effort to wake my heavy limbs. And invigorated, I turn to look at Yachio. <laughs> and now he's expressing his doubts whether or not this is the real Yachio or a Yachio being possessed by a very interesting deity. So Yachio musters all her strength and manages to force her eyelids open. And I wonder if that was Yachio sleepwalking. So her eyes are glowing with the same pale white light that had surrounded her previously. Huh? Okay, so this is the Yachio still being possessed by the deity, and it's like, wait, so you found out who I am, or you found out the truth, right? And how is it possible? Hmm. So the things she's saying. So there's no way this is really Yachio. But it is definitely Yachio's body. <laughs> So the big question is, what does this deity want from Yachio and or Ishitaro? So she's laughing, she's like, oh ho 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 ho, yeah. Wait, so are you a god? <laughs> um, so it looks like it's a yes. Wait, so how do you know? Well, so the real Yachio told me that the gods may be able to take possession of her due to the fact that she's a priestess. And I hope that this is not a bad goddess or a bad deity like Beltio from Corner Blossom. So Beltio possessing Kanade. So basically I am the goddess of the shrine. So I am the I'll say deity 
that's running this place. Hmm, so the sound of a fanfare accompanies this announcement. So perhaps this is another godly miracle. And the effect is certainly impressive, but I'm not entirely sure if it's a useful display of divine power. So anyways, so now that I know you are a goddess, I suppose it's okay for gods to just descend and steal a person's body, right? Oh, so spin it around. It's like, I'm not stealing it, I'm just borrowing it. And I'm not sure if the real Yachio gave consent for this. So in other words, Yachio is the real deal, a shaman just like the priestess of old. And now, a descendant god is standing before me. Whoa, no way. So I need to slow down. Okay, so any complaints? Wait, so are you really a god though? So I don't realize divine beings could manifest as a split personality. And I'm not even sure if I really heard that perfectly or I heard that perfect fanfare sound earlier anymore. Okay, so if you don't believe me, how about this then? So, white bunnies in the room. Wait, so where the hell did all these rabbits come from? So, do you believe me now? So this is something that humans can't do. Well, okay, I forgive. And... So, your divine... Godliness? So I'm convinced that... Of your holy power. And as the goddess issues her command, the bunnies hop out of existence one by one. Okay, so it all makes sense. So this is the goddess of the bunny shrine, and of course, she has the power to control rabbits. And I guess that explains all the bunnies surrounding Yachio last time. So when he caught her in the fields... Well, anyways, so why exactly have you decided to take up residence in Yachio? So why do you want to possess her? So, for my reasons that you can't understand. And you have used her to visit me twice now. Well, it is quite interesting now that you've discovered me and it was quite fun. Okay, there you go. So, but why? So, why do you pretend to be a Chio and then. But the problem is that it's hard to understand what this goddess wants, other than, well, I possessed Yachio and I made it quite exciting. Well, her reaction definitely suggests so. 
わしが語ったことはすべてヤチヤがこの小さな胸に秘めておることじゃ。OK。So wait, what words? And my heart fills with joy. And I feel like I am embracing a long lost love. A glowing warmth swells in my chest, and my feelings were not one sided. But. So, more questions? So, why are you telling me all this then? So, it will happen someday for you.、Hmm. So, this god grins easily. Oh, so eerily. So, I am the goddess of love. So, I feel that it is best if you get closer to a c h i o And what's the reason? Hmm, wait a minute. Hmm, so the goddess's face contorts into a frown. Wait, so I see that Ishitaro is skeptical and he doesn't show any interest, and this is going to be bad for my plan. Wait, so what's wrong? Uh oh, so the real Yachio is coming back, so I guess this is the end of our conversation. Wait, what? Oh, so she's going to wake up in a guy's room in the middle of the night. And it's the guy she's been trying to avoid. Wait, so this is bad. Hey,、uh, wait, so can you take her back to her own room? So have her wake up in her own room so that there's no more anxiety or concerns for Yachio. Well, it's too late, so just deal with it and do your best. Oh, that's very assuring. So the goddess causes the problem and decides to dump it on Ichitaro's like, well, you take care of the problems. Hey, thanks, but no thanks. And it is too late. So I'm sure this is the actual Yachio. Uh, Your Holiness? And it looks like Ichitaro didn't pick up on it. And now, on top of that, she realizes that she's in someone else's room. So, it's Charles' room. Hmm. So, it seems like the shrine god has departed and Yachio has her body back. And the usual. So, well, please don't freak out, Yachio. So, I'll ex explain about this. And Yachio's face turns a vibrant shade of scarlet. And she scrambles to cover herself. So, you must have kidnapped me. So, you went into my room and you dragged me here. Right? Wait, calm down. Whoa, 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 what?
Okay, so at this point, Yachio is panicky. So it's like, oh, so you must have let your desires go loose to the point where you wanted me so badly. No, 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 Yachio, no. So you'll never believe me, but. Well, at this point, no words will reach Yachio's ears. And she runs off. And I crumple into a heap. So I'm defeated. And if what the goddess says is true, so that Yachio and I are meant to be together, then why? So it makes no sense given Yachio's hostility towards me. Um, well, I guess nothing good ever comes easy. Okay, so it's morning and it looks like Yachio has calmed down and is willing to listen to whatever Ijitaro wants to say. So for the goddess, I'm sure she can sense that despite Yachio being businesslike and someone indifferent to love deep inside her heart she likes Ijitaro and as the goddess of love the goddess wants to bring it out and make it come to reality so anyways so morning Yachio Okay, so it looks like Yachio still has not recovered from what happened last night. And once again, she runs off. Hmm, so a good night's sleep does not seem to have improved the situation. And in fact, I think things may have gotten even worse. So I can't believe the gods would, well actually, most of this is my own fault. And I wonder why. So what did Ishtaro do to cause all this? And for some mysterious reason, Yachio returns. Wait. Huh? So I am so shocked to see that Yachio Okay, is not yelling at me that I inadvertently made a stupid noise. Um Yachio? Okay, so it's not Yachio but the goddess possessed her again. Okay, so your holiness, is that you? So she's back and what does she want this time? And I instinctively put my guard up. So this goddess is up to no good and she's caused a lot of trouble for me. So the goddess casts her eyes down and she looks pained.
So, I guess I pushed you too hard. Huh? Wait, what do you mean you pushed me too hard? Okay, so the misfortune problem. And I wonder why. So, the goddess hasn't given a good explanation about all this. Well, good luck, Ishitaro. Huh? And just like that, the goddess leaves Yachio, and now we see the regular Yachio. Wait, so Yachio, is that you? Wait, so she's gone again. Wait, so did you once again kidnap me and drag me here? No, no, no. Well, I did not do anything. So, yesterday you just um, popped into my room mysteriously. Okay, so this time Yachio understands what is happening. So, yes, I know that in many cases, I don't know how I got there and such. And... So, it happens when I'm unconscious. Okay, I see. Okay, so she admits that she was panicking last night, so I'm sorry, I didn't mean all those words. I was just embarrassed and... So, Yachio hurriedly bows her head. And it seems like she's calmed down enough to take what I've been trying to tell her. So, it's okay, I understand, so... You don't have to worry. But, I still feel bad for all those words that I spit at you, so... Okay, well, I can't apologize enough for that, Yachio. But you know, it was shocking. Okay. So, anyways, it is best if we scratch all this out from our minds. So, pretend that it didn't happen. Okay, I understand. So, thank you, Yachio. Well, it's not any better if he thanks Yachio for this. Well, I'm not sure if I'll be able to forget something like that, though. So apparently, the goddess really pushed it too far, and I'm sure those surprises, they're hard to forget. Especially when they woke Ichitaro up in the middle of the night. So anyways, I am glad we are finally back on speaking terms. So, what is it? So, can you tell me what happened during my memory lapses? So, the times where I can't recall anything. 
so it is only natural that she would want to know. But how can I even begin to answer her? So those memories are quite mysterious and strange, and I'm sure it will shock her in some way or another. So there must be something, given that I went to your room twice. Well, you did. So don't hesitate. I want to hear what I did. Okay. So you told me you were really happy that I considered you sexy and that sort of stuff. So I trail off as I reveal what happened, and it is enough to make Yachio freak out. Okay, so calm down. Okay, so I know it was not you who said those words, but still. And that you have given up on ever being with somebody, but you secretly longed to be able to have some sort of a relationship. So let's see how she reacts to this. <laughs> so Yachio Kurtz. Oh, so curls into a ball, her head in her hands. And judging by her reaction, it seems like everything she said is true. Oh, phew! So it seems like she's interested in love and intimacy after all. So she freaks out because, well, it is true, and I'm just embarrassed to. Admit so or reveal so. <laughs> and why did I have to tell you all this? Well, they are not embarrassing. Well, not for you at least. Well, I'm sure it is. So these are things that people. Or some people don't want exposed because it was not really you who said them. There you go. Hi. I know. Yachio, Ichitaro kun. Okay, so they're wasting time, and the head priest is like, "Hey, it's time for work." Hi. What are you doing? Go to work. There you go. So. Time for work. So no more talking, no more screaming, no more freaking out. So. So the head priest's interruption threw a wet blanket on my momentum, but it was probably for the best. So it. Provides some good distraction over this very sensitive topic. Okay, so continue. And Yachio and I both have to sweep the courtyard every morning, and it usually takes a while. So I doubt anyone would bother us now. So having some personal space also gives Yachio some time to calm down, and the teary eyes she had after 
or earlier are gone, replaced with a much sterner look. So basically, I nod and cut to the chase. And this level of seriousness is necessary if I am ever going to get Yachio to believe what I'm about to tell her. So, the goddess of this shrine possessed you. And I wonder if Yachio knows who it is. So, Yachio's large eyes grow even wider. And after seeing her expression, I immediately start to backtrack. Um, so I mean... So I'm astonished at her reaction. So it does happen and And I wonder if Achia finds that a positive. Wait, so you believe me? So, I just thought you'd be shocked that the gods really existed. So, it makes Yachio happy that, so the prayers and the charms, they aren't going to waste and there is a god or goddess working behind the scenes to listen on those prayers and read those charms and making miracles happen. So the efforts are not going to waste. So Yachio is a priestess and of course she believes in the gods. So this is going to make explain things a whole lot easier. That's true. Hmm. Yachio looks down as at her feet. A pain expression on her face. So, it seems that you were questioning about the existence, right? Um, yes, so I did admit so in the past. And it's not like I have any choice other than to believe in them now. So, why? So, it's going to make me look different to other people. And why? So, I think for a moment, trying to grasp what Yachio is trying to tell me. And perhaps she's worried that my opinion of her has changed now that I know she is a devout vessel for the gods. Hmm. So a million thoughts buzz around my head. And I use the momentum to declare my feelings. Okay, so it doesn't matter what anyone else thinks. <gasps> really? Says Yachio. And as soon as the words leave my lips, my face turns scarlet. But 
it's how I truly feel. So to me, you'll always be my Yachio. So the one that I've seen since childhood, the one being my big sister, like Shino from Corona Blossom, and the one caring for me. Um. Okay. Well, thank you. Um. Wait. So, I might have said too much, and it looks like Ishtaro is embarrassed himself. And same with Yachio. Wait. So did did I just confess that I like her? Which, wait. So what I mean is, wait. So are you? Okay. So you know. So you'll always be special to me, just not in that way. Uh, no, no, so, I mean, you're special to me, but it's not because you are different, you know? Huh? I think he has the wrong idea about me for Yachio. And I'm at a loss for words and I can't believe what I'm hearing. And Yachio blushes from ear to ear. And could it be that she feels the same way? Um... So this is getting worse and I don't know how to resolve all this. And he can feel his heartbeat and in the silence, my heartbeat sounds louder than drums echoing in a cavern. Well, that means so finally, Yachio speaks up. Um, yes. So, did that god or goddess, when he or she possessed me, that god or goddess, got me to reveal the hidden truth about me? Um, so yes, that sounds about right. So the most recent possession. So I wonder if it's true or not. And it looks like it is true for Yachio, so she did secretly like Ichitaro. And now it goes to, hmm, so I wonder why the gods would do something like that. And I also wonder why the gods would use my body and basically go all over you twice or maybe three times given that the third one was the goddess was trying to prevent Yachia from escaping ah yes so she did say something about that so she told me she was the goddess of love and that 
it had been decided that you and I were meant to be together. What? Wait. So she wants to do something about the shrine's current... Okay, reputation for misfortune. And to be honest, this particular goddess seems quite meddlesome. So she's a big bother to us. And I blur out my words before I have a chance to consider what I said. And Nachio ponders over what I said, her expression even sterner than usual. So I guess it's... Wait, Yachio? Huh? Hmm, so I would also like to know the answer to that particular question. But you'll lose consciousness if you are repossessed again, right? So you won't know what happened during those events. So that's why I want you to be the monitor, so if I do get possessed, you will remember all this, document it, and once I get my body back, you'll share it with me, so I have a better idea about what they want. Wait, so me? Okay, so... I'm going to do it right now, so I'm going to give a call to the gods. Okay, so you can do that on your own free will, so you can have the gods possess you at any time you want. Okay. So, even if I am acting differently because of the gods and the possession, you still will see me as the usual Yachio, right? Uh, wait, Yachio, so... So, she blushes a little as... She places her bamboo broom on the ground. And then she breathes in deeply and begins to gracefully spin. And she appears to be chatting and invocation ritual. So her robes flutter around her as she twirls faster and faster. And I can't take my eyes off her. Hmm. So she is beautiful. And I've always thought that Yachio is cute, but that doesn't quite fit her anymore. And this realization makes my heart thump in my chest. And when she conducts her priestess duties, her grace and allure reaches a whole new level. So she looks like a pristine, prim, proper lady and probably the perfect girl. Huh? So I think she's not possessed. 
So she had to go and ruin the moment. Hello, so your holiness, so are you there? Okay. Well, I don't want to possess at this time, so it's ruined my clock. Hmm, so she's making it even worse. And I think I'll leave this part out when I tell Yachia what happened. Right, well, so I have something. Well, I know what you want to ask me, so. Well, I guess you have a point. So, the more this goddess speaks, there's less like an all powerful deity she sounds. And it's not that she does not sound majestic, but gods are often known for their light hearted sense of humor. And not that I'm ungrateful for the easy conversation. Yeah, so that's what I wanted to talk to you about. Hmm, so this sounds suspicious. And why? Wait, so are you not meant to discuss divine matters with mortals? So basically, this guy is not making any sense, and it is still hard to see what she wants from Ichitaro. Mm, so as the goddess looks at me through wide upturned eyes, I have no choice but to nod in agreement. So she needs her index finger together. Okay, so my original form is a rabbit. So... I have a feeling that this is going to go much longer, so I'm going to leave the rest to the next episode. So, it was mostly about possession here, and we did get to learn a little bit about what the goddess wanted. So, the goddess probably could sense that the Chio likes Ichitaro, and She's trying her best to bring both of them together, and it might be a way to show everyone that the charms aren't really charms of misfortune. So, this is still kind of complicated for me to understand, and hopefully I'll get more clarification in the next episode. So with that in mind... I'll see you later.